Welcome back to Talking Fitchburg. Uh, joining me again for, uh, I'm so lucky to just keep her up You're here. So and lucky. Maybe she's just not busy today, I don't know. <laughs> I got nothing better to do. Uh, it's Jill, uh, she's back, uh, director of the Senior Center. And uh, this is our, every Monday we do yeah. What's Happening in the Fitchburg Senior Center. Although yeah. I'm, we're just lucky that we're live from the Senior Center. So yeah. now we actually get to see what's happening down exactly. here uh, for exactly. sure. So, uh, yeah. I, you know, we started off saying the last segment that it's always busy down here. Here, yeah, but uh, what do you what do you got going on this week? So Hit us let's up. see. I'll just kind of run down this week. So this afternoon, uh, we have a dementia program with the Alzheimer's Association, and it's called Learn How to Under Learn How to Understand and Respond to Dementia Related Behavior, which is kind of goes along with Dementia Friendly, which is an initiative we started last year. Um, so family, friends, um, whomever, at uh, two o'clock today, and that'll be at the lower level. Um, coming up this week, too, we have advanced care planning, which is always a good idea to start talking about what do you do at the end. Um, and, you know, not just for yourself, but for your family. I was going to say, we, yeah. uh, uh, when my mom passed away, it was suddenly we had yep. nothing in place, nothing. Yep. I mean, it's amazing how much stuff has to be taken care of. Yep. And you, know, right you want to avoid the fight. You know, if yes. you got a lot of siblings, it's better to spell it all out early. And, and you know, also, too, to honor what their wishes are. I was talking to my mom and all she keeps telling me is what she wants to lay in the casket, like what dress. <laughs> but you know, things like what kind of songs or what kind of readings, yeah, because then you honor their memory that way too. So, you know, sometimes a difficult subject, but it's a good idea to do. Absolutely. So that is this week, it's free, um, April 13th at one o'clock and you can just call and sign up. Um, but you can also show up too, I think we have room. Um, David wanted me to promote the uh, Fitchburg Pickleball Facebook page. <laughs> Um, and it's not just for uh, seniors, older adults. It's really for the community. He put pickleball locations all over Dane County. So if you want to play pickleball, it was in the front page of the journal today. I mean, pickleball it, is huge. It is really uh, blown yeah. up, and it's, yeah. it's blown up my knees. I'm still in physical oh, therapy. No. That's all I have to say. So I've been playing for a year now. and. I, <laughs> He's uh, he's, yeah. he's he's keeping it active, I'm but so we've sorry. played with a lot of people from the senior center. It's yeah. so much fun, yeah. so much fun. Yeah, they have. We have a huge. I think we have forty eight people signed up. Oh really? Yeah, Jeez. yeah. So hopefully they'll move outdoors pretty soon. Um, so yeah, let's see what else. Um, ballroom dancing started, so we can't sign up for that. I but saw we that last week. We have a huge crowd. I think I, eighteen to twenty people. I, I was pretty surprised. Yeah. Don't tell my wife who's here today that that was it's, going on. If for it's for anyone, <laughs> Roomba, ro Roomba, not Roomba, Rumba. 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 Yeah. That's the next session. So oh, that'll geez. start May. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, boy. <laughs> but what a fun group. Yeah. yeah. They, they looked fun. like they were having a lot of fun. Yeah. So. Um, also today, Cards with Katie um, at 1 o'clock. And you can even just show up. But she makes some fantastic cards. And it's like 11.50 and you get to take them home. And it's really fun. Easy event. You don't have to be super crafty yeah. to do that. Uh, what else? A painting class starts this week with Marianne Inman and uh, Big Cash payout bingo thursday 20 bucks blackout we have a license bucks. we have a license we have a license we are legal okay gotcha yeah and fine how about talking about the ag mastery yeah, yeah, program because yeah. so this is pretty cool it's super cool uh we oregon senior center in fitchburg applied for a grant and we were awarded $12,000 to roll out this program, and we are the first senior centers in Dane County to do it. And so really what it is is teaching how people how to age well. You know, and that's something we do all the time, but this national grant, this program, um, is just a little bit more concise. It really covers a lot of different dimensions of wellness, and so uh, we have different areas, subject areas, that we'll be bringing in speakers. Now, unfortunately, um, kind of some things happened that were beyond our control, but we had to push back the start date. So we're still taking registrations for the program, um, but we're gonna push it back till the end of May. But we have some fantastic speakers lined up through UW, um, through some different state organizations, and they, they really cover the gamut from eating healthy, financial fitness, medication, um, advanced planning. And like I said, we touch upon all these things all year round, but this really is, is encouraging people to get enrolled, take the 10-week course. Every week you're going to be given a different topic and you're going to learn. you got a little homework, um, kind of like a little mini college course. Um, so we're super excited. So Fitchburg's rolling out the first 10-week session in the summer. Oregon will do a similar, the exact same a replica of this in the fall. Oh, so that way it's covered. If you miss one, you exactly. know, if you miss it, you can yep. still do it. Yep. And the cost is, it's valued at $100, but only at uh, 25 bucks. Exactly. So this first two years, so the grant's two years long. And so we're going to subsidize the cost of this program. And then hopefully we'll be able to continue this with different sponsors that will help offset the cost. 
that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, just continuing on our, our before conversation, since we do have a little bit of time, sure. uh, do you want to talk about the Commission on Aging uh, Board as well? So oh, we, yeah. we, we got the friends group in, but uh, uh-huh. I wanted to make sure you had some time for them as well. Yeah, sure. So, um, you know, if, if people are aware, every, every city department has a board, a commission, a committee that's appointed by the mayor with one council liaison being appointed to that committee. So, um, in fact, mine meets this week. We actually only meet every other week, every other month, because we don't do a lot of resolutions. We don't have a lot of approvals, maybe around budget time, um, that they're going to help. We're going to start our state accreditation process, and they'll be involved in that. So truly, it's about policy. Um, and we don't do any big dramatic changes on a regular basis like you might see in zoning and planning and that sort of thing. So so their advisory that way, policy making um, involved in kind of bigger, broader things, like if I want to change the name and get rid of senior, they're going to have to agree to that. Um, and so again, the difference with the with the friends group, um, it's kind of more of a day-to-day supportive activity-wise, um, meeting some of the community needs. But then when policy needs to change, times need to change, fees need to change, then that's where Commission on Aging comes into play. Perfect. Yeah. All right, Jill. Well, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Yeah. I know you got to get back to work, yeah. and uh, uh, thanks you again for letting us thanks be here all week down. long. Super and uh, proud. we're going to keep uh, promoting everything you're doing down here. So Yay. appreciate it, all and right. uh, we'll see you next Monday. Okay. Thanks. All right. Stay tuned. We'll be doing uh, PB and J next on Talking Fitchburg.